Honorable Kalonzo Musyoka is a seasoned politician and he's been in the game for a while. In fact, I'd say since his young adulthood days till date, he's been very active in politics. And for someone who's been around that long, it is easy to depict his character and values over the years. And I can authoritatively say that Kalonzo Musyoka is someone who doesn't like trouble and is not very courageous. In 2017, there were four NASA principals, Raila Odinga, Kalonzo, Wetangula, and Mudavadi. And when they lost, they hatched a plan to do an illegal swearing-in. And everybody came through, Miguna Miguna, Kajuang, they were all on stage. But for the three principals, Mudavadi didn't go, Wetangula didn't go, and Kalonzo Musyoka did not go. Now for Kalonzo Musyoka, that was the worst betrayal because he is the running mate. And the excuse that he gave for not being in that particular venue during the swearing-in is that he was put under house arrest. And I remember very clearly on that day, the media was outside his home. They usually do that a lot. Even during the swearing-in of President Ruto, there was media outside Ruto's current residence and outside of uh, Raila's current residence. So this time around, they were outside Kalonzo Musyoka's residence. Zero activity. There was no police officer in sight. Yet he claims he was under house arrest. When they changed the story, they said a grenade was thrown into that particular property. We did not see any shrapnel. We did not see any holes created by a grenade. Nothing. Not even the remnants or the pin that has to be pulled out of the grenade. Now this time around, we are seeing the same same behavior from Kalonzo Musyoka. Raila Odinga called for three days of mass protests. Though in all honesty, he himself did not make it down there. He claims he came down with a very, very bad flu. But you know the one thing we cannot say about Raila? That he is a coward. He has been in so many protests. He has done it during Moi's time, Kibaki's time, Uhuru's time, Ruto's time. You cannot question Raila as far as courage is concerned. He has too much bravado, he can do anything. So even if he sits this one out, we cannot say Raila was afraid. But for Kalonzo Musyoka, that was very shocking. Here's the footage. Everything is okay, including your yeah, family. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, my family and us and all of us are fine. Of course, it is not right uh, psychologically to feel you can't leave your house. Um, so it's, it's, it's really a, a combination of false imprisonment and, and house arrest and all of that. Were so, you by any chance uh, given the charges or rather what were no, you No, 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 no. They, they wouldn't dare, I think, because they know there's nothing we have done. Um, everything we have done is in accordance with uh, our constitution, in accordance with the law of the land demonstrations are provided for and and i did some research and turns out it was true on tuesday and i believe part of wednesday there was police stationed outside his home here's part of the footage So that's fine. Mr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka is vindicated. He claims he was under arrest by endorsing that tweet. And truly, we saw somebody recording from the inside of his compound that on the outside there was some form of activity and men were stationed there. But that was on Tuesday and Wednesday. On Thursday and Friday, remember Mandamano was three days. So on Thursday and Friday, he still claimed that he was under house arrest. And that is when his neighbor decided to just rat out Kalonzo Musyoka, who is the neighbor that I'm talking about, lawyer Abdullahi Ahmed Nasir. They just live a block from each other. So what Ahmed Nasir did, he got in his car and he said, I am going to expose Kalonzo that there is nobody outside his home. Maybe on Wednesday and Tuesday they were there, but Thursday, Friday, there was nobody there. So Abdullahi drove past Kalonzo's residence recording. I'm telling you that road was empty. There was no police. There was no cat. There was no dog. There was nothing. Let me read you the tweet. Then I'll play you the video. So here's the tweet and I quote, Honorable Kalonzo Musyoka is my neighbor at Hardy. Drove through the hood to check that he's okay and see whether it is true, as alleged, that he is under house arrest, and that police cars are stopping him from leaving his home. See for yourselves, good people. Then he added this video.
even Robert Alai, who is one of the most prominent uh, Azimio bloggers, put out the following tweet. I don't believe that Kalonzo is under any house arrest. Journalists and politicians who visited him didn't see any restrictions. Can we be truthful if we are to hold this Kenya Kwanza regime accountable? To say me too kweli. Now why on earth did Kalonzo lie to the general public that he's under house arrest long after those Subarus and whoever was there had already gone? The main reason is that Kalonzo Musioka cannot lead protests on his own. In the absence of Raila, it is almost like Kalonzo's political life comes to a standstill. And that is why I'm saying Kalonzo Musioka will not be the Azimio flag bearer in 2027. In fact, I don't even think that Azimio will continue to exist in 2027. They'll have a different kind of brand. It was NASA in 2017, Azimio in 2022, 2027 will have something else. But one thing I am now certain, Kalonzo Musioka cannot be the flag bearer. He'll probably at most be the deputy of the flag bearer. And the reason behind that is whoever is going to be the flag bearer will need the endorsement of Raila Odinga because love him or hate him, he is extremely loved by the caucus in the opposition. So if he says, hey, that's the way to go, that is how most of them will go, especially with the Luo Nyanza region. Luos, and I've said this time and time again, Luos cannot be led anywhere by somebody who is a coward. To them, it is almost like a sin. In fact, even in the Bible, cowardice is a sin. And if you look at Kalonzo, he is somebody who even Babu Owino can challenge and overthrow. So tell me, how is he going to get that ticket? This was his moment to shine. Raila is down with a flu, allegedly. He's in Nairobi hospital, he cannot leave. Sometime later, there's reports he went to Malindi. Martha Karua did a no-show. Kioni, same thing. Maina Njenga has been abducted. He has not been seen for days. Kalonzo Musioka had the venue and the platform to now show the country that he can lead. And he squandered it. So in my opinion, forget the 2027 ticket. It's gone. At best, he'll be the deputy presidential candidate. But as usual, guys, that's just my opinion. Do drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube. Search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.